Christian. A Christian is a person who adheres to Christianity, an Abrahamic, monotheistic religion based on the life and teachings of Jesus of Nazareth. Christian derives from the Koine Greek word Christos, a translation of the biblical Hebrew term Mashach. There are diverse interpretations of Christianity which sometimes conflict. However, whatever else they might disagree about, Christians are at least united in believing that Jesus has a unique significance. The term Christian is also used adjectivally to describe anything associated with Christianity, or in a proverbial sense all that is noble, and good, and Christ-like. It is also used as a label to identify people who associate with the cultural aspects of Christianity, irrespective of personal religious beliefs or practices. Etymology The Greek word Christianos, Christianos, meaning follower of Christ, comes from Christos, Christos, meaning anointed one, with an adjectival ending borrowed from Latin to denote adhering to, or even belonging to, as in slave ownership. In the Greek Septuagint, Christos was used to translate the Hebrew Mashiach or Messiah, Messiah, meaning anointed. In other European languages, equivalent words to Christian are likewise derived from the Greek, such as Tritian in French and Cristiano in Spanish. Early usage The first recorded use of the term, or its cognates in other languages, is in the New Testament, in Acts 11.26, after Barnabas brought Saul, Paul, to Antioch where they taught the disciples for about a year, the text says, the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. The second mention of the term follows in Acts 26.28, where Herod Agrippa II replied to Paul the Apostle, then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. The third and final New Testament reference to the term is in 1 Peter 4.16, which exhorts believers, Yet if as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. But let him glorify God on this behalf. Kenneth Samuel Wuest holds that all three original New Testament verses usages reflect a derisive element in the term Christian to refer to followers of Christ who did not acknowledge the Emperor of Rome. The city of Antioch, where someone gave them the name Christians, had a reputation for coming up with such nicknames. However Peter's apparent endorsement of the term led to its being preferred over Nazarenes, and the term Christianoi from 1 Peter becomes the standard term in the early church fathers from Ignatius and Polycarp onwards. The earliest occurrences of the term in non-Christian literature include Josephus, referring to the tribe of Christians, so named from him. Pliny the Younger in correspondence with Trajan, and Tacitus, writing near the end of the first century. In the Annals he relates that by vulgar appellation commonly called Christians, and identifies Christians as narrow scapegoats for the great fire of Rome. Nazarenes Another term for Christians which appears in the New Testament is Nazarenes, which is used by the Jewish lawyer Tertullus in Acts 24. Tertullian, against Martian 4.8, records that the Jews call us Nazarenes, while around 331 AD Eusebius records that Christ was called a Nazarene from the name Nazareth, and that in earlier centuries Christians, were once called Nazarenes. The Hebrew equivalent of Nazarenes, not Srim, occurs in the Babylonian Talmud, and is still the modern Israeli Hebrew term for Christian. Modern Usage a wide range of beliefs and practices is found across the world among those who call themselves Christian. There is usually a consensus among many denominations about what defines a Christian, but disagreement does exist among some sects and denominations on a common definition of Christianity. Philosopher Michael Martin, in his book The Case Against Christianity, evaluated three historical Christian creeds, the Apostles' Creed, the Nicene Creed and the Athanasian Creed to establish a set of basic assumptions which include belief in theism, the historicity of Jesus, the incarnation, salvation through faith in Jesus, and Jesus as an ethical role model. Hebrew terms As the identification of the Messiah with Jesus is not accepted within Judaism, the Armudic term for Christians in Hebrew is not Srim, Nazarenes, originally derived from the fact that Jesus came from the village of Nazareth in Israel. However, 
Messianic Jews are referred to in modern Hebrew as Yhvdym Shikhim, Yehudim Mashim. Arabic terms In Arabic speaking cultures, two words are commonly used for Christians Nisrani, Nsrny, plural Nazra, Nsr is generally understood to be derived from Nazareth through the Syriac, Aramaic. Masi, Msyhy, means followers of the Messiah. Where there is a distinction, Nasrani refers to people from a Christian culture and Masili means those with a religious faith in Jesus. In some countries Nasrani tends to be used generically for non-Muslim white people. Another Arabic word sometimes used for Christians, particularly in a political context, is Salibi, Slibi Crusader from Salib, Slib Crucifix which refers to Crusaders and has negative connotations. Asian terms the Syriac term Nisrani, Nazarene, has also been attached to the St. Thomas Christians of Kerala, India. In the Indian subcontinent, Christians call themselves Isai, Hindi, Isai, Urdu, Isai, and are also known by this term to adherents of other religions. This is related to the name they call Jesus, Isamauzi. In the past, the Malays used to call the Portuguese Sarani from the Arabic Nisrani. Today the term Sarani is used for the Creole Christian community of Malaysia today. The Chinese word is Jidutu, Pinyin, Shdutu, literally Christ follower. The two characters now pronounced Jidu in Mandarin Chinese, were originally pronounced Kitu in Cantonese as representation of Latin Christo. Likewise in Vietnam the same two characters read Kodok, and a follower of Christianity is a Tindu Kodok Jion. In Japan, the term Kurishtan, written in Edo period documents Jili Zidan, Kie Zidan, and in modern Japanese histories as Kurishtan, from Portuguese Christi, referred to Roman Catholic Christians in the 16th and 17th centuries before the religion was banned by the Tokugawa Shogunate. Today Christians are referred to in standard Japanese as Kuristo Kaya to Kirisuto Jatu, or the English derived term Kurisuchan Kurisa Chuyin. Korean still uses Kidok Kyodu, written in Hangul as Jidojiodo, for Christian, though the Greek form Kurisudo Jurisudo has now replaced the old Sino Korean Kidok for Christ himself. Russian terms Region of modern Eastern Europe and Central Eurasia, Russia, Ukraine, and other countries of ex USSR, have a long history of Christianity and Christian communities on its lands. In ancient times, First centuries after the birth of Christ, when this region was called Scythia, Christians already lived there. Later here the first Christian states emerged, among them, Great Russian Principality, Kievan Rus, Rus. Veliko Nazhustvo Rusko. People of that time used to denote themselves Christians, Christian, Krestian, and Russians, Ruski. Both terms had strong Christian connotations. It is also interesting that time by time the term Krestrian got the meaning peasants of Christian faith, and later peasants the main part of population of the region, term Christian saved his meaning and term Ruski began to mean representatives of heterogeneous Russian nation formed on the basis of common Christian faith and language, which strongly influenced the history and development of the region. In the region Pravoslav faith, Pravoslavne Vera, or Russian faith, Ruskana Vera, from earliest times became almost as known as the original Christian faith, Christianskaya, Krestianskaya Vera. Also in some contexts the term Cossack, Kozak, Kazakh, free man by the will of God, was used to denote free Christians of steppe origin and Russian language. Demographics As of the early 21st century, Christianity has around 2.1 billion adherents. The faith represents about a quarter to a third of the world's population and is the largest religion in the world, with approximately 38,000 Christian denominations. Christians have composed about 33% of the world's population for around 100 years. The largest Christian denomination is the Roman Catholic Church, with 1.17 billion adherents, representing half of all Christians. 